welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss the final part of the Pahang 2020 Paper 1 paper, which is from question 21 to 25. Okay, let's begin with question 21. Let's look at question number 21. So this chapter is under circular measure. Okay, diagram 6 shows circle shaped dartboard with a common center. The bigger circle has a radius of 4x cm, which means from here to here, is 4x okay and the smaller circle has a radius of x cm so what means from here to here is x so assume that every time when the dart is thrown so throwing the dart okay it will hit either the bigger circle or the small circle so a what is the probability that when ahmad throws a dart the dart will hit the region within the smaller circle okay smaller circle so find the probability okay so for a so the probability is okay the smaller circle over the bigger circle so the smaller circle is pi x square over so the bigger one is pi 4x whole thing square okay so we can cancel off the pi and pi so it'll be x square over 16x square okay so we can cancel this as well so we get 1 over 16 so that's the answer for a okay now let's solve for b ahmad is not satisfied with the probability so how should he increase the probability of heating in the shaded area? So justify your answer. So how to get this? So in order to increase the probability of heating the shaded area, he needs to increase the area of the smaller circle. Okay, the area of the shaded area. So in order to increase the area, you need to increase the radius. Okay, so, so we're going to write this in the form of a sentence. Okay, so we write, so add the radius of the smaller circle okay so thus or this will increase the probability okay of Heating in the shaded area. So this is the answer. Let's look at question number 22. So this chapter is permutation and combinations, but this, this question is combinations, okay? So let's read the question. A school band consists of five players who are selected from three drummers, five guitarists, and four singers. So let me underline this, three drummers, five guitarists, and four singers. And we need only five players in total, okay? So find the number of different selections that can be made if the band consists of one drummer, three guitarists, and one singer. Okay, let's solve for A. So if it's one drummer, okay, we select three, C1, okay, because three drummers here. And then times with five guitarists, so five, C3. And then we have four singers here, so four, C1, okay? So let's press the calculator. What is 3C1? Huh? Okay, so 3C1. So we have 3, and then shift, and then there's an NCR here. Okay, 1 is equals to 3. So this is 3. Okay, then times, okay, 5C3. Let's calculate. What is 5, and then C, and then 3. Okay, so 5C3 is 10. So this is 10. And then 4C1 is 4, okay? So equals to 120. So that's the answer for A. Okay, now let's solve for B. Okay, one drummer and at least two guitarists. But make sure that total is five players, okay? So one drummer, so we have three, C1. So it can be if at least two guitarists, means it can be two guitarists, three guitarists, or four guitarists. It cannot be five guitarists because... It's already one drummer is chosen. So total is only five players. Okay? So let's do this. So we have if it's two players, okay? Two guitarists. So one drummer, two guitarists. So it'll be five, C2. Then the remaining will be for singer. So we have four. So we need how many more players? So here we already have three players. So we need two more players, okay? To make up five players. So we have one combination here, okay? So or, so or is plus. Okay, so we have one drummer again. Okay, times with. So now the guitarist, okay, it can be three guitarists. 
Okay, so now, how many singers we need? So we have already 4 players, so 1 plus 3 is 4 players. We need one more player, okay? So 4C1. We, want, we need one more singer, okay? So another combination is 3C1 times with, so 5, okay, it can be 4 guitarists. So 4 guitarists will be 5C4, and then after that times, so singer will be 0, okay? Because we already got 5 players, so we don't need any more singer, okay? So 5, 4C0. So now we calculate what is this, okay? So 3C1 is 3, just now we've gotten there 3 already, okay? Then now we have to find what is 5C2. Okay, calculator, okay, 5, then C, 2, is 10, okay, 10. Okay, then 4C2, okay, 4C2, uh, so 4, C, 2, is 6, so it's 6. Okay, then plus, okay, 3C1 is 3, okay, times, now 5C3 is 10, okay, we already got them just now, and then times 4, okay? So plus, say so 3C1 is 3 times, so 5C4, let's calculate 5C4, eh? so 5C4, okay? So we get 5, mm. so we're going to write 5, so 5 here, okay? After that, times, so 4C0 is what? Okay, 4C0 is 1, okay? So it's 1, eh? so it's 1, okay? Let's calculate this. So 3 times 10 times 6 is what? 180. Then plus 3 times 10 times 4 is 120. So 120. Okay? Plus then 3 times 5 times 1 is 15. Okay? So we plus them together. So 180 plus 120 is 300. Then 300 plus 15 is 315. So 315. So that is the answer. Let's look at question number 23. So this chapter is under the chapter differentiation. Okay, diagram 7 shows the function ht equals to negative 4t square plus 32t as shown in the diagram on the side represents height in meters fireworks t seconds after launch. Point A is the origin. Where is point A? Oh, here is A. Okay. So, and the fireworks exploded at the highest point here. Okay, at what height does the fireworks explode? Which means that they want you to find the maximum height. So if they want you to find the maximum height, okay, you need to find the dhdt. Okay, so dhdt equals to zero. That will be the maximum. Okay, we have to find the maximum first. So I'm going to write down the working here. So ht is equals to negative 4t square plus 32t. Okay, so next I'm going to find what is my dh dt okay so dh dt is equals to negative 8 t plus 32 okay so at maximum at maximum height the dh dt is equals to zero okay so this is zero equals to negative 8 t plus 32 so therefore 8 t is equals to 32 so therefore t is 32 divided by 8 is 4 huh so we got the t already so now we can find the maximum height by substituting the t equals to 4 into the formula of ht, okay? So ht will be negative 4, 4 squared plus 32, 4, okay? So let's calculate this. So what is negative 4? Okay, 16 times 4 is 64. So negative 64 here plus, so 32 times 4. What is 32 times 4? 128, okay? So 128. So 128 minus 64. So you get 64 meters. So this is the height, okay, that the fireworks exploded. Let's look at question number 24. So this is quadratic functions. Okay, the graph of quadratic function fx is equals to 2x squared minus 2 bracket x minus 1 in bracket plus k intersects the x-axis at two points. So the keyword here two points it means that you have to find b squared minus 4ac more than zero okay so find the range of values of k okay so fx is equals to 2x squared minus 2x minus 1 plus k so for this i'm going to expand it first so that i can see the a b and c okay so be 2x squared minus 2x plus 2 plus k Okay, so now I'm going to take out my A, B, and C. So my A is 2, my B is 
negative 2 and my C is 2 plus K okay so now I'm going to substitute into B square minus 4AC more than 0 okay so B square minus 4AC okay more than 0 so B is negative 2 square minus 4 then bracket 2 then 2 plus K more than 0 so this will be 4 minus 8 2 plus K more than 0 okay so it'll be 4 minus 16 minus 8k more than 0 so negative 8k so we bring over this is a um, negative 12 so it'll become positive 12 on the right okay so after that so k so we want to bring over the negative 8 you have to be careful whenever we divide it by a negative number you have to change the sign to the opposite sign okay so more than become less than okay so become 12 over negative 8 okay negative 8 so the final answer is k less than so we simplify this so 12 over 8 we simplify become 3 over 2 so the final answer is k is less than negative 3 over 2 so that's the answer let's look at question number 25 and this is the last question of paper 1 Pahang 2020 paper okay so this question is under the chapter of probability distribution let's read the question so diagram 8 shows the probability distribution of x the discrete random variable x has a binomial probability distribution with n equals to 4 where n is the number of trials means how many times that you try okay so find a the value of k and b p the probability of getting x more than or equals to 3 okay let's solve for a first so from this graph i write down the probabilities okay for 0 which is 1 over 16 for 1 is 1 over 4 for 2 is k, for 3 is 1 over 4, and for 4 is 1 over 16. And the total probability for everything is equal to 1. Huh. Okay, so for a, okay, I'm going to add up everything. So 1 over 16 plus 1 over 4 plus k plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 16 equals to 1. Okay, so now let's find the value of k okay so before that we plus up everything so one use a calculator so one over 16 okay plus one over four plus one over four plus one over 16 so we get five over eight okay so plus five over eight equals to one so k is one minus five over eight is three over eight okay so the answer is three over eight okay now let's solve for b so b Find the probability of x more than or equal to 3. Okay, which means that more than, more than or equal to 3 means it's 1 over 4. Okay, plus 1 over 16. So here, this one add together. Okay, so let's calculate. So 1 over 4, use a calculator, plus 1 over 16. Okay, so we get 5 over 16. Okay, so here we get 5 over 16. And that is the answer. Well, we have finally come to the end of the video and we have done all the 25 questions of the Bahang 2020 paper. So what do you think of the paper? Let me know in the comments below, okay? Remember to like this video if you like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!